I get asked quite often about entering a new user into the system when they only need EPM Go access. In other words, they don't need to get into EPM desktop version at all. Uh, they just need EPM Go access. And the question that typically comes up is, do I have to set up the, these people with a Trimble identity? And the, the answer is no, you do not have to, which is great because that can be kind of a pain, especially for those they only need EPM Go access. They may be shop personnel that don't even have an access to a computer. So I'm going to show you how to do that here in the system. So I went to File and Administration where I'm going to set up users. I'm going to go New. I'm going to give a username of SRV. If you're classic blues guys, you're going to know Stevie Ray Vaughn. <laughs> We'll leave the Trimble identity blank. Also notice I'm leaving the role blank. I'm not going to give any user permissions to um, to this guy because um, he doesn't even need it in the desktop version. But I, So I'm going to hit Add here, but I am going to hit Edit Permissions here. And I am going to give access to EPM, but note that I'm not giving access, you know, I'm not giving any permissions to do anything. Basically, you can log in. That's going to allow me to be able to log in and give him a password. So then I'm going to go to remote permissions, give him all the permissions that he needs. I'll just say everything. I'm going to save. So now I've got Stevie Ray Vaughan open, open here. He's ready to roll except for he cannot log in to EPM Go right now. The reason is because when he first set up a new user, the password is blank. You cannot log into EPM Go with a blank password. So now I have to give him a password. So I'm going to close out of EPM, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it. And when I, when I go to log in, I'm going to leave my Trimble identity here, but I'm going to log in as him. So now I'm Stevie Ray Vaughan. I wish I could play guitar like him like he used to be able to. So we're going to log in. Notice there's a blank password because that's the default. And it should log in for me now. You'll see when I log in that it asks me, do you want to associate your Trimble Identity account with this Tech Leap user account for faster sign-on? That's just saying, hey, SRV signs in. Do you want your Ricky Horton Trimble Identity to be associated with him? I'm going to say no. And then you'll notice I can't get into anything up here, right? But what I can get into is to change the password here. Old password is blank. I can do a new password. I'll put it in. And I'm going to save that password. The password is now changed. Now I can go and log in as SRV with that new password and without having a Trimble identity. So um, just to recap, you don't need a Trimble identity for EPM Go only. Set them up as a user and then log in as them into Tech EPM and just change the password and set it the way you need it. Hope this helps. Let me know if you've got any questions.